vlog. I am so excited to vlog today because I have not vlogged over the last week and I really just want to catch up. It is actually the week after Thanksgiving. So we went to visit Aiden's family last week and had such a good time. I didn't vlog that trip just because I did just vlog for our last Vermont trip. It was just so nice soaking up so much family time, but I am so thrilled to be back home. I love being home for Christmas and I'm just feeling all of the Christmas vibes this season and we're basically home all of December. Not basically, we are home all of December and so I'm so excited just to really soak up the season and this morning had a great morning and also a great run and it made me wanna fill you guys in on the turkey trot because I mentioned that we were doing our first turkey trot run and it was so much fun. I was a little bit worried because when we started the race, it was 28 degrees and I don't ever run outside, let alone in 28 degree weather. I mean, we live in Texas, it's never really that cold. And it was four miles and it also was quite hilly. And so I just didn't think I was gonna do very well, but I loved it. And it made me wanna consider in 2023 training to do just longer runs in general. I've always loved running, but I've never done like group runs before, which also was something I was nervous about because I always run by myself, but it was so much fun. And I just feel like I've been on my running kick lately after that. Had a great run this morning. And now I have a lot of other things that I want to get done for today and tomorrow. I think this is just going to be Monday and Tuesday because there is a lot that I want to do. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed in a good way. Just really excited to kind of get the ball rolling for prepping for December. But today I want to return my newly and my Rent the Runway order. So we're going to do that this morning. Also pop into Trader Joe's. I want to see if I can get some real garland or possibly a wreath or something. I love the scent of real Christmas trees and so I want to try to put something in the apartment to kind of bring in that scent. We're also doing a Christmas party so I think it'd be nice just to add some more touches to the apartment. I need to run to a couple of other places as well and I want to make some dried oranges. I like to use those when I wrap gifts and then also I have an idea to do a dried orange garland on our fiddle leaf tree. I feel like that would actually be super cute. So and I already did our big grocery shop yesterday. Yesterday, we got back home yesterday, so thankfully I don't need to go grab a ton of groceries, but I want to get that done. I need to do one work thing before heading out this morning, so we'll do that. I'm breaking out the crock pot for the first time this season. We're making like a crock pot chicken masala recipe that's from Half Baked Harvest, so we'll start that tonight. I also want to start my bread. I need to make my Levon tonight. I always say Levain wrong. I try to pronounce it correctly. I know I don't say it entirely correctly. I want to start that tonight because I'm actually going to try to make it in the shape of a Christmas tree. I think it'll end up being in my next vlog because that takes a couple of days to do, but I thought that that would be fun. I haven't made bread in a while, so lots to do, lots of fun things. I'm really excited. Oh, also this sweater that I'm wearing is from Target. I really like it. I think it's like a cute kind of ugly Christmas sweater. And I also picked up this midi ring from Etsy and I think it's also really cute. I just threw that on. We need to get this day started, so let's do it. Cold wind tonight when lights are low The treetops are covered up in snow And I always miss you so I know that it's Christmas time again The reindeer are rushing side by side Can I just do a tall Irish cream cold brew? Picking up a little coffee. I did a decaf coffee this morning because I've been really on the one coffee a day kick and it has been so great. So picking up this and then we're gonna go ahead and run our errands and it is so nice right now because you can see behind me in Texas, the trees are so behind compared to the Northeast, which we spent a lot of time in lately. And so we came home and I was like, oh my goodness, it feels like actual fall here now with all the colors. like. They're just so beautiful and such a nice day too. I'm in the best mood. I'm sure you guys all know Rachel, Rachel Vin on YouTube. We have been wanting to plan a Texas trip for her to come visit. I visited Rachel back in the springtime and it was so much fun. We just had such a good time. I also hung out a lot with Anna too, who's Rachel's good friend and they're planning a trip here. So we're kind of figuring out some details right now, but I'm so, so excited. They're just such sweet friends. And so I cannot wait to have people come visit Texas. I feel like I don't get to really host people that often. And so I'm so excited. It's gonna be a really fun trip.
just got out of Trader Joe's and they came through. They had so much real garland and then also real wreaths. So I think I'm gonna put the real wreath that I got in the kitchen and then switch the other one out to our actual door on the outside. But I'm so excited. The garland is beautiful too. I'll show you guys when I get home, but definitely a score. It's only one o'clock and we're headed home, which is perfect. Back home now, I'm gonna share what I got. Starting off with the garland. It is so pretty. I can't wait to put this up. We'll do that here just in a second. And then I also picked up another one of those. And then this is the wreath that I got. I really like how simple this is. And I wanna put this outside our actual door. And then I also picked up these guys because I thought for our Christmas party, I might do like a hot chocolate bar or something. And I think that these are so sweet. These little cookie mug hangers, love it. And I also love gingerbread. That's like one of my favorite cookies. And then a few other florals. I picked up some carnations and then just some tree branches because these I'm actually gonna just put in a vase together and make a little arrangement. We'll do that in a sec. And then I also got some eucalyptus. I like to put this on our shower and I just hang it and it makes a really nice fragrance when you're showering. But ours is a little bit dingy at this point. I try to replace it every couple of months because it does get just dried out and it doesn't have its scent. It's still beautiful, but I like to replace them every couple of months or so. So such a win. I got everything done and now I'm gonna go take cash for a little walk and then put our garland up, put our wreath up, and then we will also start our garland. We're gonna start drying our oranges for tomorrow and start our crock pot recipe. I'm back from our walk now and I'm gonna go ahead and slice my oranges. So essentially, I'm sure you've seen this. I feel like it's all over Instagram, TikTok. Essentially to dry out your oranges, you just slice them. I don't know quite how many I'm gonna do, but I have a lot right here. And then you just slice them to be like, I think a fourth of an inch thick. And then you bake them at 200 degrees for two hours and then flip them and do two hours more. It's also good to press down on them before to get some of the juices out too. So that is what we're going to do do right now. <laughs> I just sliced all my oranges and I don't know why it was so difficult for me to figure out how to slice the orange to get the center in the middle because this is obviously much prettier than say like this one right here. But I only did one correctly. I do not know what my problem was. I kept trying to do it different ways. It just wasn't working, but it's still gonna look nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and put these on a sheet pan and start baking them. Another thing I wrote down to talk about was this book because I basically started this on the plane. I have been trying to read this book for about a month now. It's called The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This is a very popular book. So this is not like a secret book that I discovered, but I've just been so busy with work. November and December tend to be just the busiest months with doing basically anything on social media. And so I just feel like I have had so much work stuff that I haven't been reading as much. And it was so nice because I didn't vlog on this last trip. I just had some time on the plane to chill out and read. And I read half this book on the plane and it is so, so good. It's essentially about two sisters during World War II and just their stories. It has a little bit of a love story in it. And also it's just more of a historical fiction novel too. And I love this because I sometimes struggle with books, especially because I love a good love story. I think that love stories are just really captivating. I love when the movies we watch have like a little bit of a love story in it, but I don't necessarily love romance novels. I was reading books that just had a lot of more like graphic love stories in them, which is just for me, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I definitely wanted more of a storyline in it. And this was so good. I cried three times reading this book and it was such a easy read to blow through because it was so captivating and yeah it was perfect so if you have any book recommendations that are similar to the nightingale definitely let me know my friend carissa had recommended one that i ordered i think it actually should come in today so i'm excited to start that one but yeah i wanted to include this i'll link this down below too if you're kind of in that similar like a little bit of love story but like some adventure definitely wanted to talk about that
myself a snack plate for lunch. There was also cheese on here, but I always eat the cheese first. And now we are gonna put up our garland. The oranges are still drying right now. Yeah, we're gonna see what this looks like. I think it's gonna look pretty good up above the tv so let's test it out also i have been listening to the artist caitlin smith all day and it is just putting me in the best mood i'm sure she's very popular she just came up on one of my spotify playlists and i love it it's just like the best kind of pop country vibes girly music that i love i'm so excited i found her because it's just really been a mood boost this afternoon our real garland up here it looks so so good i love it it was very easy to set up there just because it is very straight i think it adds a nice little touch there and then over here i ended up putting the second one over above the kitchen and i love the way this looks i think it's so sweet and just adds just a nice little touch here in the kitchen i like that it's still pretty subtle but it definitely just adds a little christmas element i was actually trying to add it right here above the windows but it just wasn't staying because that has the breaks in it and i figured with that garland right there it's kind of a lot going on so it works out just having it like this but i love those little touches and now our oranges are also doing well right now i'm about to flip them they have a couple more minutes as you can see they're definitely starting to dry i don't know if you can actually see that but the nice thing about this too is that it makes your house smell so good got in the car to go take cash on our evening walk and i realized that i forgot my oranges were in here so i'm gonna pull these out they still technically need i think like 10 more minutes but they might be fine i might pop them in for a little bit longer they're looking good i also just spent some time on our porch and it was so nice it's such a beautiful day so let's go soak up some more of this weather It was so nice because so many people have up their Christmas lights now, which is always just so magical when you go for a walk. Making some dinner. I also changed into this PJ set. I actually just got this in the mail from Amazon of all places. It's like this cute little satin PJ set. I love it. I got it in a size medium and it's just so comfortable. And I think this color is really beautiful for the winter slash Christmas time. But it's nice because I actually basically have already made dinner because I did at the crock pot. So that's pretty much done. But I am gonna make some coconut rice because this is like a chicken masala. And I'm sure you know how to make, oh no. I basically always accidentally overboil whatever's on the pot. But essentially you just put coconut milk into your rice and boil it with that. And it tastes really, really good. So we're doing that. I would make some naan, but because we have the rice, I don't really want to have naan and rice. So we're just going to do the rice. And then I'm also going to make a big salad because after traveling, I really like to try to get some more greens in because I just had quite a bit of sugar on our last trip. And I'm just trying to kind of get some nutrients in. So that is our dinner game plan. I think we're going to watch a show too while we eat and just have a nice night in. We also just ran out of dish soap and my mom was so sweet. She gave me the Myers. I love this. This is the peppermint scent. It's so good, especially for the Christmas time. So we're going to refill our soap with this.
is Tuesday morning, it's about seven o'clock right now, and I decided because we're doing F45 this evening, we're gonna do a strength class that I wanted to take cash out for a morning walk and actually get out of the house and walk somewhere. So I'm doing that, picking up a coffee right now, which I know I went to Starbucks yesterday too. Kind of a bad habit lately, but just kind of felt like the vibe this morning. It's a very gloomy morning. And then I'm also gonna start on our bread, which I'm really excited for. And then there's a few other things I wanna get done today. So we're just continuing the vlog into Tuesday. Cash is very excited for his morning walk. We actually had a rule when we first got this car because this is our used car, but it's new to us that we weren't gonna put cash in here, that we were just gonna put him in the Jeep because we usually also have our car cover. I just didn't put it on because I was running out the door pretty early this morning and I have already broken it because I didn't want to drive the Jeep in case I overlapped when Aiden needed to leave for work and so. Oh, you look so handsome. Are you going for a walk? Are we going for a walk? getting some work done this morning. I also started my bread, which I was gonna wait to finish the bread till the next vlog, but I think I'm just gonna vlog and do tomorrow because I'm essentially trying to shape my bread into a Christmas tree. This came up on my Instagram reels or one of y'all tagged me in something on Instagram. I always forget if it popped up or someone tagged me and it looks so cool. I don't know if it's gonna be a fail because I've just never shaped dough to be an actual shape before. So we're gonna try it. I'll probably still do a couple of loaves and yeah, I haven't made bread in a while, so I'm excited to do that. I also wanna make our garland too. We're gonna do that probably before I need to run a couple of errands later on, just some returns and stuff, nothing too exciting. I also have some laundry going too, but I do really like my outfit today, so I'll share this. Everything is actually from Fabletics, but I'm wearing this crew neck that's super cute. I love the sports bra underneath. And then these leggings I think are so fun. I feel like I just don't normally wear pattern leggings, but I really like how subtle these are for the winter time. That's my alarm for my bread, but super comfy. Also, I'm doing some laundry and I wanted to share this because instead of using dryer sheets lately, I have been using these little lavender bags. I got these from Trader Joe's and you can reuse them a lot and they just add a lavender scent to your clothes but not in a way that's overpowering and i've been loving these so much more than dryer sheets i don't know if these are that much better for you i found them at trader joe's in the aisle with all of like the household items and i've been liking them and on the topic of the sourdough i wanted to mention that i will link the recipe i used for these loaves and then also a more simple recipe too and also something I've been doing with this dough specifically is instead of letting it sit on the counter, I've actually been putting it in the oven with the oven light on. The oven's not on, but it's just in there where it's a bit warmer and it is speeding up the process so much. And also the dough is just so bouncy and fragrant and just beautiful, honestly. It's like the best dough I've had so far. So just a little tip, but I'm about to let it proof for a while. So I'm gonna stick it in there. I'm about to head out of the house and run some errands, but I just picked up a couple of packages. So I figured we could do a very random unboxing right now. The first thing I'm so excited, I ordered our Christmas cards, which should come in pretty soon if they're not in one of these, but I ordered a custom stamp for our return address. So I'm obviously not gonna show it, but I got this from Paper Source. And so instead of actually writing our address on all of these, I can just stamp it with this. So that's so cool. I've never had one of these, but I'm excited to use that. I'm supposed to come with a stamp ink pad too. Oh, there is ink on there, okay. There's ink on there. And then we have a few Amazon things that I've got. 
Oh, this is my book. Yay. This is the book that my friend Carissa recommended. I'm so excited to start this one. It says, in a small shop in a country on the brink of unrest, two people meet for the very first time. Yeah, it's like a love story historical fiction, I think. I got a few just basic long sleeve tops from Amazon because I've been wanting these for just layering. So this is just like a black long sleeve. This is really nice. This is thick. Also just got a white one. Wow, these are very nice quality. And then this one is just more of a full on turtleneck. This one's definitely not as nice, but for wrapping gifts this year, I'm gonna use some natural paper that I think is down there. I'll show you guys, but I also wanted to just glue on like some cinnamon sticks. And then also these are star and ice. I think I'm saying that right for decoration. And then I also just got some twine to use for our orange garland and also just for decorating gifts. And this is very random, but I've always needed a hot glue gun. So also got a hot glue gun. And then the last thing, I got this massive roll of just plain wrapping paper. Cause this is what I'm gonna use for most of our gifts this year. And then I'm gonna decorate it with the oranges too and make it look cute. So that's my very random haul. I'm gonna go do this return and then head back home. now and I'm gonna go ahead and start my garland I don't have that many oranges so I might just have to do one thing because I have a few different ideas for one I do want to make one to put on the fiddle leaf tree I think that'll be the main thing I also wanted to make a small one to put above our bulletin board to put all of our Christmas cards that we get to hang them I thought that would be cute I want to put a couple on our stockings and then I also want to save some for actually putting on gifts they look really cute on presents too so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the garland though that might be all of the oranges. This is also super cute if you use like popcorn, cranberries, you can add a bunch of different stuff on it, but I'm just gonna do it plain with the oranges and then maybe the twine. My needles are pretty small, so I might actually just use the fishing line that I have left over from the Christmas decorating. So we'll see. I'm also gonna put a cozy ambiance on the TV and make it a whole vibe. Just made the garland it's all tied together and i want to go ahead and try to figure out how i want to put it on the fiddle leaf tree but let's do it stockings turned out so cute it just adds a little touch again i still need to hang up one for cash too i just wanted to get one that matched better because we just had a green one if you watched my decorating video but i think that looks nice i was about to make a, another garland but i looked over here and my dough is just off the charts <laughs> expanding it's crazy so i'm gonna go ahead and start shaping this Sorry, it is a little bit dark. I am headed to our F45 workout in our parking garage right now. And I'm going by myself, which is totally fine. Aiden didn't really sleep super well last night, so he is just pretty low energy. So I am going by myself today, which is totally fine. And I do stuff by myself all the time, but for some reason, a workout class, I just feel so vulnerable <laughs> going alone. And so honestly, this is like the last thing I wanna do right now. I was really close to also 
canceling, but made a commitment and I did get good sleep last night. So I have no excuse and let's do it. It's still going to be good. It's a strength workout, so it'll be fine. But he's always like my little security blanket, at these classes. workout was good. I didn't vlog after it because I basically came home and made dinner right away. We did like a chicken sausage and veggie skillet. It was really, really good and changed into some comfy Christmas PJs. These ones are also from Amazon and we just made those little sugar cookies that you throw in the oven and watched a cheesy Christmas movie. So it was a good night and I'm about to hit the hay and I'll see you guys tomorrow. a good run in did the morning routine and now i'm about to bake my bread because it's been in the fridge overnight and i'm attempting to do this christmas tree shape that i showed you guys earlier but i'm not sure how this is going to turn out because for one i don't have an oval banneton and it definitely required an oval shaped loaf and so i tried to just shape it myself but it's looking a little deformed <laughs> but essentially you cut a lot of the bread off of the loaf so i feel like it might be fine and I also am unsure how to actually bake it because typically when you bake bread, you use a Dutch oven, but this is such an odd shape that in the video, he used two cast iron skillets and put them on top of each other, but I only have one. So I'm gonna try to put my cast iron skillet over top of a sheet pan and I feel like it might be fine, but this also might be a fail for that reason. I also don't have a star cookie cutter to put on top. So I'm just gonna omit the star and just do the treat, but we'll attempt it. Worst case scenario, it'll still taste good. It just might be a little bit oddly shaped. Also, my sweater is from Free People. I love this sweater. I think that the neckline is so pretty on it, especially when you put it with some necklaces. I've had this one for a couple of years, but I really like it. took our cast iron off so that it'll get brown now, but that is how it's looking. It's only about 15 minutes. It's cute, not perfect, but. I just took the second loaf out of the oven and this one turned out honestly so much prettier than the Christmas tree. And then here's the Christmas tree. It's definitely a little bit flat. And I think it's because with this one, I did two shapings, but because this had to be an oval, I didn't double shape it. And so it just doesn't have as much like tension in the dough when I was doing it. And so it's definitely flat, but I think that they're really cute. I'm really impressed too with how this one came out. Cause this was actually super easy to score. I also went ahead and made some chicken noodle soup in our crock pot. 
really on a crock pot grind right now. This recipe is from Half Baked Harvest. It's definitely my favorite. I haven't tried too many, but I really like hers. And this will just be nice to have later this evening since it got a little chillier today. I'm about to get some work done. I typically try to save one day a week to do all of my editing, but because I'm trying to post more often in December, instead I'm trying to do just a couple of hours each day editing the content more real time just to get things out faster and get things finished more so i'm gonna do a couple hours of editing i also just heated up some lunch this is just leftovers from last night's dinner which was so good definitely one of my favorites and so easy so i'm gonna have that get some work done and i will catch you guys later it is a lot of bit later we just went for a walk with cash i spent most of the afternoon working and i wanted to talk about something because when i was reflecting on Kind of the content of this video i realized that it was very much a kind of at home vlog doing a lot of cooking doing a lot of stuff around the house and i feel like it would be easy to watch something like this and think that for one it's not necessarily productive and two that this is stuff that i am like designated to do i just want to say that doing these things actually brings me so much joy like i love cooking i love doing stuff around our house i love making our home just feel like a home and i'm also very thankful and fortunate that that is a large part of my job too so it's a great kind of win-win situation where i love what i'm doing but i also am able to you know put out these videos for you guys and work with brands to partner with to also make it a job and i'm so thankful for that i just love doing this so much and so the fact that it can also be a job is just the best situation for me i literally pray and thank god for that every single day but also it is something that just makes me really happy and it's never something that like aiden expects me to make all these meals expects me to do all this stuff he a couple of nights ago was like hey like i can grill something for dinner i just really enjoy doing this and especially over the last year i've been trying to be more mindful and i say this but my life is in balance i obviously ate those sugar cookies like a couple of nights ago or last night. I am trying to be more mindful about what I'm consuming, what I'm putting in my body, and it makes me more in tune with my body when I know exactly what I'm cooking for my body. And with the bread, like eating bread where I know this is flour, salt, and water, like that is it. And I just like that. And I think that largely comes from the fact that I was raised in a home that just felt so homey and something that I don't think I realized as a kid was that that took so much effort on especially on my mom's part in terms of, I just grew up with so many lovely home cooked meals. And it was always something that was surrounded with joy too. Like my mom just would bake things and she loved doing it genuinely. And I'm so thankful for that because I feel like that has carried on to me. And I'm not always in this phase, but coming out from traveling, I always miss my little routines at home of like picking up around the house and making dinner and all these things. I just love it. I think they're such simple, things but you know being able to provide a meal for everyone and sitting at the table and talking after a long day if you're someone who similarly feels that way and not everyone does and that's totally okay like everyone feels those things differently i am definitely a homebody i like being at home and i like doing stuff like this i also love to travel too but i think life is all about balance and it's also so much fun to share too with you guys so thank you for one for watching these videos and making this possible but also if you similarly feel the same way i just wanted to put that in there because i think everyone has different ideas of what it means to be productive and i think that this kind of stuff can sometimes seem as like a waste of time or something but i think it's really so sweet and it adds value in a lot of ways that maybe aren't always seen but making your home feel like a home i think is a blessing so shredded our chicken i'm gonna put this in and we're gonna eat dinner we have a few things to do around the house too aiden just ran to the pharmacy to grab something that he needs so